What's up you guys, it's your boy CCJ coming to the power of your screen. Today we're looking at the new Alchemy 2.0 Magnet RGB LED. Yes, they're magnetized, which is, makes it a hell of a lot easier. And they support Aurora. So that means if you have any motherboard that has Aurora, which I have the Maximus Form Formula IX. So, And this does come in... The one I have is 60 C centimeters, and there comes with the 31 and a 21. You can get it. It comes with a control module, but we're not going to use that. So let's test it out. Mr. V Production. All right, so this is the cable it comes with. One side has a gray color on side. So we're going to remove the side panel, and we're going to install this in there. So. Here's the cable, so we're gonna try to put it in there. Hopefully my hand can fit in there. If not, we'll have to remove the Wi-Fi. And yeah, as you can tell, there's something blocking. So we're looking for this, the 12 volt RGB. That's what we're trying to connect it to. As of course, the Wi-Fi adapter is in our way, so we'll have to unscrew this. bolts of course. Once we get the bolt out, just slide out to the left. Cool. Mr. The Wi-Fi adapter. And now we should have enough space to put our cable in there. Just move this thing out of the way. And then we're gonna fire the wires in the back, make sure that it all fits. There's actually a little hole down there, so we're putting it through there. And then we're gonna move it to the front. So we're going to move back the Wi-Fi, put it back in. Mr. V Productions. Now it does have a adhesive on there, but I'm leaving it on there. I mean, it's magnetized, so I don't have to do it with that shit. So right now we're just positioning where we want it, just like that. Mr. V Productions. Side panel on. And make sure you screw the bolts in, or you can use your hands. The thumb screws. Now I forgot that you don't need a screwdriver for this one so so I took take the screw out and just put it back in there from screw. Now I unplugged everything else to make sure there wasn't no static or anything in the room.
bolted in right. So now I'm gonna put the power cord back in there. And let's turn this baby on. So I gotta turn on the power in the very bottom of my computer. And then I turn on the top part. And it's lighting up, so we know the motherboard's working. It is on. And look at that. If you just look at that, the LEDs are working right away. Okay, so now we're on the desktop. So we want to make sure you put on header one. You want to pick quick color. Let's pick green. And boom. So this is how you control the colors. If you haven't downloaded it, maybe it's downloaded. It's free. And it's running pretty smooth. So everything works out. Would you look at that? Just look at that. Alright, so as you can see, we it all worked. That's cool. So check out BitPhoenix and their RGB LEDs. Thanks for watching. Peace.